Hi, and welcome back to our video tutorial series on Microsoft Word 2010. In this set of videos, we're going to talk about creating tables inside of Microsoft Word and working with the information that we place inside of them. So you'll see here I've got a blank Word document, and I'm going to start off by inserting a table. So I'm going to go to the Insert menu right up here at the top, and you'll see the Table option. When I click on that, a drop-down is going to appear and you're going to see I can use this grid to select whatever size table I want. Now, this is just the initial size the table is going to be created. You can always insert and delete rows later on. So I'm going to go ahead and select a five column and four row table. And when I do that, the table has now been entered onto my page. You'll see by default the table stretches from one end to the other. So let's go ahead and begin by entering some information into uh, these cells. I'm going to go ahead and type name and then January, February, March, and total because we're going to put a calculation in these tables as well. And I'll put a few salespeople there. And then I'll go ahead and enter in some values for their sales. And I'm just using my arrow keys to move around. I could be using tab and enter um, just as easily to move that cursor around as I put data in. And I'm just, again, putting some fictitious information in here. We're going to leave these blank because we're going to insert a calculation in them a little bit later. So that's basically how you set up a table inside of Microsoft Word. Now, resizing this table is very easy. All you've got to do is either point at the row or the column separator. Actually, I got that the opposite. Point at either the column or the row separator and drag. So for instance, I'm going to point here right in between the first and second columns. I can then press and hold and drag over. And you're going to see how I can very easily resize any of those columns just by dragging. Finally, when I get to the end of my table and drag over, you're going to see the overall size of the table is made smaller. And you can do the same thing with rows. I could drag the first row down a little bit, so now I've got a little bit more space in there. If I wish to insert items, and again, very simple. Let's say I want to insert a column in between name and January. That way I've got a first name and a last name field. Now whenever you insert anything in Word, it's always going to be inserted before what you select. So I'm going to right click on January because I want the new column to come before that one. And then I'm going to select insert and you're going to see I get some options here. Now if I was just to click on insert it would put in you know again the default. But I'm going to go ahead and say insert column to the left. And there I have another cell and I can type last name in that cell and change this cell first name. Make this a little bit wider there. And you're going to see, unlike Excel, when I change a column width, it doesn't instantaneously move everything else over. I've got to work within whatever limits I've created for my table by adjusting the right-hand edge. So I can drag that over. That actually needs to be a little bit bigger for later. And I'll drag this one over, and this one, and that one. And now I can go ahead and type um, John Martin, I'll enter last name in, Jones, and Peter Smith. So there I go, I've successfully inserted a column. You can do the same thing with rows. If I right click, I will get an insert option and I can select rows above and now I get a blank row there. So now I can go ahead and type Timothy and then enter in some values there 
and now I've successfully added a row to my table. So very easy to resize rows and columns. Also very easy to insert rows and columns. If you're going to be doing a lot of work with tables, however, it might be better to work on it in Excel and then just copy and paste it over into uh, Microsoft Word. But that's the basics of setting up and creating a table inside of Word. In our next video, we're going to start talking about how to format the data inside of your table.